had a carotid artery issue. Benjamin Nieto has had numerous surgeries. Carpal tunnel. From his neck to his toes. And cubital. He's in almost constant pain. I don't have any days that I have no pain. But he does get some relief with Vicodin, a commonly prescribed opiate. He's had a prescription for about 15 years to use the pill as needed. What determines whether I take Vicodin or not is the amount of discomfort and the inability to walk. Now his family doctor wants him to sign this agreement for controlled medication prescriptions. It's for patients who use opioids for three months or more. It outlines how and when these risky drugs can be prescribed and how they should be used. And the patient has to agree to drug testing, a regular urine test to make sure they're taking the medication and not using other drugs. I thought it's patient abuse. Lancaster General, Wellspan, Pinnacle Health, and other health care providers have had these kind of agreements for some time now, but they're using them more consistently. They're in line with CDC guidelines aimed at controlling the opioid addiction problem in the country. This is just a compact between you and I. Dr. Paul Consolato says it's not meant to be a punishment tool. It's almost uh, a validation of their condition. Don't audit the patient audit the doctor. He's the guy prescribing it. But the doctor and the patient have to sign the agreement. If Nieto doesn't sign it, he may have to find another way to deal with his pain. Susan Shapiro on your side, News 8.